This story will cover from then to now and next, all about change, how to turn losers into winners. Home to pink flamingos and a multitude of water birds of all sorts in this delta of the River Rhone. Less exotic looking than the towering flamingo is a little heron whose story and talents are remarkable. This little winner is the little egret that's now bred back in bigger and bigger numbers so that their expanding colonies in the Camargue are producing a reservoir of little, little egrets that's overflowing in all directions. They disperse from their birthplace on the shores of the Mediterranean in the south of France. Some head north, up river valleys. And eventually, as the egret flies, he'll reach another coast, 500 miles to the north, a rather different scene for our bird, a more familiar one to us, perhaps. Mont Saint-Michel, a famous island off the shore of the English Channel. Our new tourist drops in and quickly shows how flexible he is. This is a popular walk across the bay wading the river, maybe seeing an egret, passing their colony, and always with a guide. But despite from the odd disturbance, egrets have thrived in the bay, and as with the Camargue down south, they've expanded again, and this time to a new country, Britain. The white cliffs of the south coast, beachy head. Peaceful invaders like egrets don't need lighthouses as we do. They're clever explorers. Which estuary next? Not this one. How about this? Lots of creeks and a town at either end. And so it came to pass, a single little egret arrived in the Kingsbridge Solcombe estuary in November 1979. It was to be the start of a wonderful story in a wonderful place. They seem unstoppable past rock tombs in Turkey, in Africa in different sizes with different species, great and little. Follow the action, fly there, ride there, feed there. These sheep in dried up Spain flush insect prey as they go. The birds perfectly equipped, eyesight, beak, gripping feet, flexible legs, adjustable head. What else could this operator need? He's a niche in himself, a clue to success. For cattle egrets, big tractors will do but it can be risky. They don't mind man, in fact almost seem attractive. It seems they will follow anything that moves, however slowly, like these Galapagos giant tortoises flushing out insects from the grass. And little egrets turn pirates, 
chasing cormorants on the hunt. And it pays off. And buffalo are useful perch and vantage point. For a bird whose world population is estimated, the right word, between 3,800,000 and 7,600,000 individuals. Well, who's counting? The Great Egret, seen here by a Bahamas church and a golf course. No need to pray for this group of birds, the little or great winners.